Hey guys, it's Regant here and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can build two different elevators. So first one, this one that you just saw here and then this one, this water elevator. So this elevator is um, working very simple. You just press this button and it goes up. Um, it's pretty slow, but it's very cool, especially for creative um, because, yeah, it's much more complicated than a normal water elevator and it just looks more realistic. So let's start with this one. We start by digging out a area like this. Then we dig out for these three blocks. And then dig down for one more block down there. And put redstone right here and there. Then we take a node block and put it right in this hole. Then we need any building block. You can use any block you want for that. I'm going to use these iron blocks. And then we put a button on top of it. After we got this, take an observer, put it right here. And then take two sticky pistons and put them on the left and right side of this observer. Now take five slimes and put it right here where I do it. Now take another sticky piston, go into this hole and put it right here and then take another observer and put it right on top of it. Now take your building blocks again and put them here. This will be, I would say, your chamber where you go inside of the elevator. After that we have to build the upper part. Um, if you don't have one, do it like I do right now with scaffoldings. Just take them and place them uh, on this spot right behind this elevator right here. You can use any height. I'm gonna just place some. Um, it's You can also build it like 400 blocks high. So yeah. Then take some building blocks and go out for three blocks on each side. Right here for three blocks. And then start building a full frame around the, around it because this will be our landing platform, I would say. After we got this step also done, take your building blocks and put four building blocks right on the scaffolding. If you don't have scaffolding there, of course, on the block you have used for that. Then go out for one block and put on the end one block, one obsidian block. You can also use any not movable item, for example, also ovens, but I'm gonna use obsidian block, an obsidian block right here. Then take a knob block, put it below below um, the obsidian block, and take again your building block and put it in front of the knob block. Make sure to press shift, not like I did in this video. Also put down on the left and right side one more building block and a button on the middle one. Actually the farm, the farmer, <laughs> the elevator is now ready to use. Um, it's pre looking pretty ugly now, but um, if we're gonna use it now, just press the button and you see we are going up here, you see it from the outside. It's looking pretty cool, um, like a, almost like a real elevator. But yeah, right now it looks pretty ugly. Um, back there I've um, built it a little bit better looking elevator. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. so. You can probably copy that one. You see we have our landing platform right here and here we go into the inside. Here you see it's just a small I would say tower. Um, probably make sure that no blocks are touching the slime box inside because otherwise um, yeah, they will take the blocks with them. So you see I have some space between it. But here you see uh, the farm, uh, the farm, um, why I'm saying the farm, the elevators and uh, the elevator working. It's pretty simple, you can go up and down. It's not very fast, but it's, like I said, for creative, a very good uh, very good thing to build. So, let's go over to the water elevator. You see, we are much, much quicker, so I would recommend to build it in survival worlds, because in creative, it's not that cool like this, small, uh, this uh, redstone elevator, I would say. But it's much more effective, because you're much quicker, and it's much easier to build, you don't need um, that many materials for that. But yeah, let's start with it. We start by building two, I would say, towers. I'm gonna use glass blocks for that because then you can see everything we do and you can also count the glass blocks. Um, so yeah, let's start by building a small tower. 
And also the height is also now important. You can build it as high as you want. It's uh, not much more effort. You just need some more blocks for that. But the, you can choose any height you want or up to uh, 400 blocks is I think from bedrock to the uh, building limit, but yeah. So after we finished our small tower here, take some water and put it on one side. I'm gonna take the right side here and don't put it into the other side. That's very important because we're gonna jump down here later. This will be our downwards elevator. Then take two more building blocks, put them on the right side where, where the water is, remove these two and put signs there so the water stays inside of this small tower. Then also remove these two and put water in there and the left one is already ready now. For the right one we have to place some kelp there and just grow it with bone meal or place them all to the top. After that you can instantly remove uh, the kelp. Um, we did just did that to get water source blocks um, because otherwise the elevator won't work. Now remove this block and exchange it with some soul sand so the elevator will be completed and can you get you upstairs. You see it's already working. To go down we just have to jump in here and the water will catch us. So we can't die by doing that. Um, so it's also very very safe and you can also of course make it with a magma block because the magma block is dragging you down. But it, it's not necessary. But So I would say probably for the look because it looks better if you have like two water turrets but if you want a good look on your elevator you can also build the right one but yeah I've also designed it here a bit uh, so it's not looking that ugly because of course it's not a very beautiful elevator but uh, here you see I've built a small platform here and also I, some decoration with the buttons and torches it's just an idea that I built very very quickly there are of course better ways to do it and here you see we jump very far down and we don't die by doing that. I also placed the signs just for decoration here, so we have two um, equal sides. But yeah, that's it already, actually. Um, like I said, this one looks much better for a creative world, but if you play survival, this water elevator will be more than enough for you. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.